successful pirate attack on a cruise liner? Seaborn Spirit used an unusual defense to help ward off those pirates. It was developed for the military after the 2000 attack on the USS Cole. Who wants to catch the USS Cole after the hull's blown in the side? I want to get it in advance so the hull doesn't happen. The idea is to hail the approaching vessel to let them know they've lost the element of surprise. A ship can then begin evasive maneuvers if the message is ignored. The piercing sound is unbearable, forcing anyone in their right mind to turn around and turn away. That is very piercing. You feel it throughout your body. Absolutely. They use two LREDs on their vessels and make the pirates think, wow, do we want to attack this vessel that's obviously prepared? Perhaps we should go look at someone else. From five football fields away, the message is as clear as a bell, and it can be delivered in virtually any language. Unlike a regular loudspeaker, the device creates a highly targeted beam of sound which maintains its clarity over long distance. That makes it ideal for delivering warning messages. Bartholomew Johnson, security forces have you surrounded. You are outnumbered and outgunned. If sheer numbers weren't enough to protect the world's most powerful leaders, it was also the latest in anarchist-stopping technology. Pittsburgh police giving the crowd a taste of the sonic cannon. These devices emit a shrill sound designed to help disperse crowds. Uh, listen to this thing. Oh my God! Those anarchists are going to have to go like this! <laughs> They're anarchists! You're going to get them with a sonic cannon? You know what kind of music these people listen to? That cannon is probably their ringtone by now. เวลาโดนโดนอุจจาระฮะอุจจาระปลาใส่ร้านร้านได้ตอนนี้ตุ่มแล้วฮะแล้วก็มาล้างถึงจะเป๊ะ <coughs> 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 But a San Diego company says it thinks it has the answer when it comes to protecting planes at least part of the time. News 8's Richard Allen is here to explain how their anti-bird technology works. Richard. Well, Carlo and Barbara Lee, it's sound technology already being used in naval operations and at a nuclear plant to keep birds from being sucked into the water cooling system. And it could be used by airports to prevent bird strikes when planes take off and land. Take a look at the incredible damage and the very real danger created when birds strike planes. Smashing through the cockpit's windshield, crashing through the aircraft's hull, even disabling a plane's engine, which may have caused Flight 1549 to crash. Disastrous incidents that could possibly have been avoided by this invention, known as the LRAD RX. The LRAD RX directs intense bursts of high frequency sound waves up to a mile and a half away. Sound waves which can effectively scare off flocks of birds in the path of a plane and avoid possible bird strikes. When a flock of birds hears that distress call, they'll take off. Uh, we have other annoying sounds that just get birds moving out of the air. And moving out of harm's way. I'm Calvin Duane, I'm manager of environment for Canadian Natural. This system, our LRAD, or long range acoustic device, is here to keep the birds away from our tailings pond. So the bird deterrent system is composed of various parts. First of all is a radar system, which detects birds coming in two to three kilometers out and it responds to those birds by emanating sounds. Large sounds come out of these speakers we have here, each one positioned to be in direction of where birds might come from. And the sounds start off with, first of all, being birds of prey sort of sounds, hawks, eagles, those sort of things to scare uh, ducks and geese away. If that doesn't work, then it moves into more of a louder, shocking sound, like a shotgun blast or something along that line. And then finally, if the bird is not deterred from that point, it goes into a distress call of a bird of similar species.
are entering a coalition checkpoint. Stop, get out of the vehicle, and raise your hands. Get out of your vehicle and raise your hands.